I'll use the same title for the following demonstration. And once again, I go into the Vita Scene settings. And the settings dialog window looks almost exactly the same in Vita Scene 2 as in Vita Scene 1. If we look a little closer, we'll see that certain new filters have been added, however. And if I look, for example, in this folder, the Text Logo Plus Aura folder, then I can see a whole new row of effects that are specially there to be used in combination with titles. And there are more, for example, also the Text Logo Plus Ray section. So also, we could look around in here a little bit. There are also interesting options when working with text in the transition folder. For example, something like this one. It's a form of glitter effect that runs over the text. Or here, some very strong light effects for text. So obviously here, in our short demonstration, we can only give a quick view of what there is. I'll change back into the filter effects. And we've already had a look in here, in the text effects. For example, text logo plus light we've seen before. However, there are other options. And I'd like to change to this one now, the text logo plus bevel. And here I can find the so-called bevel effects. This means I can give my text a form of 3D look. And unlike in the quick titler, you can animate these 3D effects in VitaScene. And to do it, you use the options that we've learnt previously. I've changed once again to the text logo plus shadow folder. This effect gives my object a shadow, which doesn't sound particularly spectacular at first. However, in combination with EDIUS, this means that I can use the EDIUS layouter via the VitaScene 2 plugin. It is relatively easy to create shadows. And of course, I can adjust the parameters for this shadow effect here. Once again, this is very similar to in the titler, However, these can be animated. I've changed my scene once more. And here, I've got a recording taken from the air. So, an aerial clip. And I'd like to use a VitaScene 2 filter on it. A default filter is specified. And I'll go into the editing dialog to change this. And here, in the other filter groups, we have a variety of new effects. And I'd like to present a couple of these right now. The Art Look option is quite interesting. With this, I can change a video clip so that it appears that it has been painted or drawn. Here we have the cartoon outline effect. Then the dot drawing effect. And a variety of other art styles. These can all be very interesting. It's also performed very quickly even though I'm working with full HD material. I can even do it in real time on my system. So this is a really interesting effect available in VitaScene 2 that can be used in real time within EDIUS. Now I'd like to look in the Spotlight folder. And here we have Spotlight effects. And with these, we can simulate a light source. And here, we can adjust the position of the light source and how it shines onto my video. And of course, these can be animated. How we can do that, we've already seen in VitaScene 1. Another folder I'd like to look at is the Tilt Shift folder. With this, you can create a form of model landscape. In other words, 
It's as if the camera was filming a model landscape rather than a real landscape. Depending on the settings, this can be very interesting. So once again, I'll try it. And here we can see with this still image, it looks relatively good. Once it's in motion, it looks a little bit different, but it's still a very interesting effect. And even this effect is performed relatively quickly on my current PC system. So speed is really one of the great strengths of VitaScene. However, of course, you will need to be using a good graphic card. And so that's a small look at VitaScene 2. If it interests you, then I suggest that you go to the ProDad homepage via www.prodad.com. There, you can see a variety of videos showing other filters and effects that are available in VitaScene 2. Especially for EDIUS 6 users, the shadow effect is very interesting, as with this, VitaScene can add a shadow to all the effects available in EDIUS. So, for example, I could, using the Mask tool in the Layouter, cut out sections of images, and this will be covered in a further course, and then using VitaScene 2, you can add shadows to specific sections of an image.